Well, gang of line, Carolina Jackpot time coming at you. It's uh, Thursday afternoon. That also means that it is uh, November 17th, 2022, about 4.30 ish. And I just want to get on here and, uh, and, 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 and filibuster just a little bit. And I watched um, on YouTube the uh, press conference that was done yesterday. Some of the players and uh, South Carolina offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield. This guy just talks in circles, uh, just an absolute jerk, and uh, takes no no accountability, no self accountability uh, for the shit show that uh, is on the field this season. And I, you know, and just from an outsider looking in, because I'm telling you, because I have denounced my fandom from them for the final two games of the regular season and the bowl game until changes are made, and everybody knows that. I've gotten some flack from that on. Uh, <laughs> YouTube comment section, Twitter, social media, and that's fine. You know, that, that's fine. Uh, I'm a grown ass man. I can take it. And guess what? I also make my own decisions. They're like, you're not a real fan. If you do that, you're not locked in. But you never were one of us. You know what? I've been one since 1975. How about that? All right. So the, 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 these idiots can't speak on this. If I have the right, I have the right to drop them if I want to. And guess what? I have the right to pick them back up if I want to. Nope, nope. We come back around here when we start winning. Blah, 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 blah. When's that going to be? When's that going to be? Find some joy. That's what Shane Beamer told everybody. Find some joy. You know, I, and the thing about it is, I like Shane Beamer. I really do. I like the guy. But he just keeps on taking fucking L's, man. Just takes keeps on taking fucking L's. I'm not. I'm not talking about just on the football field. I'm talking about hey, uh, here on social media, uh, on just regular media, uh, just looking like a fool, uh, making excuses. I. Just, I mean, making excuses for crappy play, making excuses for his shitty coordinators. Why don't you just get on there and say that uh, at you know when the, make a statement. Grab your balls and make some kind of a affirmative statement. Something to the fact uh, uh, the effect of, you know, as soon as the season is over, we're going to uh, do evaluations, and you know, then you know we'll 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 approach some accountability at that point if need be. Something. I mean, don't tell everybody to go find some fucking joy. I mean, that's just a, that's just a cop out, man. Just an absolute cop out. And if you don't, if you're not careful, you're gonna get your ass run off. Because you know, I remember it's been two years since Will Muschamp was in Columbia. Two years since the physical being of Will Muschamp was in Columbia. But it still feels like his heart, body, spirit, and soul is here right now. I mean, it really does. Nothing feels like it's changed. And I don't mean here, because I'm not in Columbia at present time. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Uh, the vibe is a little bit better. The vibe's a little bit better. I feel like maybe the culture's a little bit better. I feel like maybe people are a little bit happier. But it's still the same old shit. It's still excuses. It's still horrible offense. It's still taffy defense up front. I just, I, it, 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 it makes me so angry that my 2000, and 2022 for me has been a roller, as Shane says, a, a roller coaster for me. Emotionally, mentally, just everything. Physically. Um, just, it's just been a weird year. And it's almost kind of, you know, we've, we've gotten kind of somewhat back to normal. Uh, from everything we went through the past two years, except for this uh, bag of chips right here that I bought a while ago. It cost me $2.29. Uh, it used to cost me $1.59 in 2019, or around about there. But it, you know, but it is what it is. And this economy's just shot. And I don't know if it's ever gonna get any better. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all have, you have ruined my 2022 football season. And yes, I know, I know 
South Carolina is going to make it to a bowl game. We're, we're going to win at least six games. Uh, we're going to win at least six games. Well, whoop de do. That's the standard now, isn't it? Isn't the standard is winning six games right now? How about uh, you know that there's a, a particular person in the upstate of South Carolina that uh, that coaches a Power Five football team. What's his old saying? Best is the standard. Best is the standard. Whenever I was making fun of him, I said best is the stand turd because I think he's a turd. But he's he's right. Well, I don't see the best in Columbia, South Carolina right now. And there's no reason why it shouldn't be. You either lose because you don't have Jimmy's or Joe's or you lose because you don't have X's or O's. South Carolina has Jimmy's and Joe's. They've got Jimmy's anyway. Do they have the full complement of Jimmy's and Joe's that they need to go undefeated, win 10, 11 games? No, they don't have those kind of Jimmy's and Joe's. They have the Jimmy's and Joe's to win at least eight games, to win nine games, um, you know, to make a run at, at 10 games, to give it a scare. Just pissed it all away. Great transfer portal class, pissed it all away. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, Spencer Rattler is a guy that I don't know what he is. I don't know what the guy is. Some people say he's just a shitty quarterback all the way around. Some people look at it and say, I think he could have done better in an offensive system that weren't Marcus Satterfield's. I don't know. He doesn't play good in a pro style attack. I think, I think that's partially true. But God dang. I mean, you'd think he could at least make some damn plays. He don't make note. I mean, the, the past two out of the past three games, he's looked absolutely anemic. I mean, he might well as not even been out there. So I, I don't know. Thank you though. I, I want. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for ruining my 2022 college football season, Marcus Satterfield, and your 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 shitty play calling and your misuse of talent and your just, just inability to, 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 I mean, you've done some things that were successful. You've ran some plays that were successful. Some misdirection, some stuff to catch the people off guard. You've done it against Vanderbilt for a few plays. Yeah, I know it was Vanderbilt. Yeah, why? Woo, woo, what did you do? So what? They beat Kentucky, didn't they? I mean, there's something to it. You've done it a couple of other times this year. But no, you know, we can't we can't sustain it. We can't sustain it. We gotta go back into wet fart mode. And guess what? Guess what happens when you go into wet fart mode? You shut down the back of both legs. I can't stand it. I'm sitting here all listening to talk radio and then talking about Tennessee, 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 Tennessee. I'm so tired of hearing about Tennessee, so I just wanna scream. I can't stand them. They're going to make sure that they're in the college football playoff. They're going to make sure that they get in it. You know why? Because they're fun to watch. Because people like them. Because it's a big brand. Because it's popular. It's a bunch of crap. They ain't beat nobody worth nothing. All they can do is go out there and score a bunch of points on terrible teams. That's all they can do. That's all they do. That's exactly what they do. Oh, but they think they're a national championship contender. They're a national championship contender. They went on the road to Georgia. It's supposed to be the biggest showdown ever. Biggest showdown ever in Sanford City. What'd they do? They went out there and got murdered. They got murdered. There's no other way to look at it. They got murdered. You can sit here and talk to me all day long about how you you, you overthrew Jalen. The dude looks like a lady a couple of times. And they ought to have even caught them passes. It'd have been a different game. Well, so what if I had a big old 12-inch Peter? She'd be my Uncle Pete. He didn't catch them. And then when I say George took our foot, oh no, no, we, we switched to my, so, and then you, and then you got some idiot who's sitting here telling everybody that they, that they lost the game on purpose. Shh. So they wouldn't have to play an SEC championship game because they knew I could get in it. You know what? Might be right. They might be right because they're going to make sure that they get in. <coughs> they're going to make sure they get in. <coughs> they're going to make sure TCU loses one of their last three games, two regular season games and a championship game, 
in the Big 12. They're going to make sure they lose one of those. Somebody's going to make sure Southern Cal loses a game. And then they're going to set that up. And them talking about some, uh, they actually sat there and said if, 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 if that if, if it was, if it was, if Tennessee blows out all their arrest of their opponents, which they're probably going to do, and that if Clemson wins the ACC, that they'll take Tennessee over Clemson because uh, they're a bigger brand and they're more, they're fun to watch and people want to see them in there. Well, I just think that's a bunch of crap. And I'm the first one who'll sit here and tell you that I have absolutely no love whatsoever for the Clemson Tater Ships. You all know that. You all know that. But that's what they're saying. How can you justify putting someone in there who finished second in their division, second, and leave out a conference champion that has one loss, that, that also has one loss, we, we might as well say. And, uh, no, that, that has also won, like, what, two out of the last five, six national championships? I don't see it happening, but I just don't see it happening. If it comes down to that, I think they're picking the taters. And, I mean, I don't want to see the taters in the playoffs uh, no more than anybody else. But I certainly think they deserve to be in there over Tennessee. That's just the way it is. So thanks. Thanks a lot, Beamer and uh, Satterfield. Thanks a lot for ruining my 2022 college football season. Bunch of freaking dopes.